Well, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching the Cypress Sports Show, brought to you by Coach's Corner, your go-to spot before and after the game. I'm Jeff Russell here with Mark Slovkov. Today, we are in for a treat. We're going to welcome two girls wrestlers, Vita Bakel and Satira Sohal, to the program. We'll get caught up uh, on how the season is going so far with them and what they have upcoming. We'll also talk to some more athletes and staff members in our Subs and Grubs segment, How Well Do You Know? Coach Slev, we are up and running in the Winter League. Play is going to be starting soon. What do we have for our update? All right, here's our winter sports update. The boys' basketball team went 2-3 and three in the Sonora tournament last week, losing two of their games by one point to Colony and Lacerna. But no time for them to sulk as the boys have a busy week again this week. They took on number two in the county, Canyon, on Wednesday. And then Thursday, they play Los Altos in the Crypto.com Center, formerly the Staples Center. And then they take on La Habra on Saturday uh, at Cypress High School. The girls' basketball team was off last week without any games. Uh, and this week, they get back at it. They're playing in the Santa Ana Elks Tournament at Seagerstrom. They had games scheduled versus Seagerstrom and Capo, uh, Calvary Chapel in pool play before heading to the brackets on Friday and Saturday this week. Boys soccer team took two losses last week versus Ocean View and the perennial power Servite. This, this week they look to get back on uh, the W train versus Marina on Thursday in a home match before starting league next week before Christmas break. Girls soccer, after winning the Bellflower Tournament last week, the girls team has taken two losses to University and Marina, both on two to nothing scores. The schedule continues to bring some solid county teams with games against Fountain Valley on Tuesday of this week and Foothill on Thursday. Girls water polo team traveled to West Torrance on Tuesday this week and then are off to the Chino Hills Tournament this Friday and Saturday before taking their winter break. And the wrestlers, uh, boys wrestlers had three placers at the Man Classic last week. Vince Partington, a name we've heard before, finished seventh. Jimmy Romero, sixth. And Andy Perez, who was on our show last week, finished fifth. Boys wrestling team will be starting their league matches Wednesday night in a try meet with Tustin and Pacifica. Then this weekend, the boys are off to the Edison Beach Bash. The girls were at Modern Day this last weekend and Kie Osede, took third place. Daisy Ruiz was a finalist. Congratulations to those girls. And this week the girls are starting league also Wednesday night at Cyprus and then going to Milliken on Saturday. Yeah, winter is off and rolling. So our teams are really challenging themselves too. A lot of great uh, contests that we're playing. It's nice to see our teams pushing themselves before they get to league. So this week um, winter is getting going. Uh, we have a lot of stuff on uh, tap. Winter is one of my favorite times of year, Coach. Uh, the weather is changing. You know, stuff's going on. There's games and events like every single day for us to watch. What is your favorite sport to watch in the winter? Well, I um, do like the winter season as well. Um, I enjoy watching our soccer teams, but uh, those games get pretty cold even, <laughs> even at the 3 o'clock game. So, uh, maybe we'll go to uh, the indoor, indoor sports in the gym, you know, I'll watch a wrestling match or uh, boys basketball, girls basketball games, um, and then uh, get out to a girls water polo game before it gets too cold as well in the evening. There you go. Hopefully everybody will do that too. So before we talk to a couple of the wrestlers, let's check in with some other athletes and staff in our subs and grubs segment. This week, how well do you know Coach Lumberg? Here's what they had to say. We're here with senior wrestler Satira Sahal, sophomore wrestler Vince Partington, our trainer Marcy Lloyd, junior wrestler Jimmy Romero, wrestler Daisy, Ru Daisy Ruiz, Miss Monero. Here's Coach Lumbery. How well do you know yourself? <laughs> here you go. You're our answer key. We want to know how well you know Coach Lumbery. You ready? Yeah. Okay. We got, I think, like seven questions for you. First one, how long has Coach Lumbery been at Cyprus? 23 years. Good guess. Oh, I'm going to say... 30 years. 30 years, perfect. 32 years. 32. Uh, 20 years. Okay. Like 30 years. 150 years. How long have you been at Cypress High School? 18 years. Uh, what is Coach Lumberg's favorite football team? Oh, Vikings. Minnesota Vikings. Easy question. Oh, the Minnesota Vikings. Easy question, Marcy. Uh, the Vikings. Um, somewhere in the Midwest with the cows. So the cows, the Midwest cows. <laughs> the 
the New York Jets. <laughs> oh, uh, what is your favorite football team? Minnesota Vikings. What year was Coach Lumberg the state wrestling champ in high school? Oh, 1989. 1976. 1972. Oh, that was like 1980 something. 78. 1872. <laughs> what state? Oh. What state? Minnesota. Uh, In what state? Uh, Minnesota. Um, it's not Idaho, but I'm guessing Idaho. <laughs> what state? Minnesota. <laughs> what state? Uh, Ohio. Missouri? Is that a state? <laughs> <laughs> that is a state. <laughs> and what year were you the state wrestling champ in high school? 1978. And in what state? Minnesota. All right, how many letters did Coach Lumberg win in high school? Varsity Three. letters. Three. Two. Two? I don't know. What do you mean by that? Three. And how many times was he on varsity? How oh, many four. sports? How many years? Two sports. Four. So I'm going to say three years. All 26 letters. Three. How many letters, varsity letters, did you win in high school? 16. How many sports was that? Four sports. What were the sports? Football, wrestling, track, and baseball. What track and field record does Coach Lumberg hold at his high school? What event? I don't know track events. Sprinting. Sprinter. Oh, uh. Long distance, thrower. What does he look like? The 100 meter dash. Woo! I don't know. <laughs> Shock <Shock-push>. put. <laughs> <laughs> Field. Um, uh, the long jump, the high jump, um, the high jump. What track and field record do you hold at your high school? The 300 intermediate hurdles. What was your time? 40.8. All right, what weight class did Coach Lumberg win in the NCAA Division II National Championship? 160. Coach Lumberg? 152. Coach Lumberg, 152? Is that skinny? <laughs> Coach was skinny. He was all buff and skinny. I don't know. Oh, I think that was like 145. Heavyweight. <laughs> Coach Lumberg, 145? Yes. yes. He was small. Featherweight. <laughs> Six, 170s. Wow. Coach Lumberg? Is he, is he not? <laughs> One, 160s? 170s? What weight class did you win the NCAA Division II National Championship? 167. What year was that? 1980. All right, and what wrestling move was named after Lumbergo? Oh, the Lumbergo. Lumbergo. Uh, the Lumbergo. Oh, God, I know this one, but I don't know the name of it. The Lumbergo. Um, the Half Nelson Lundberg. <laughs> <laughs> and what famous wrestling move was named after you? <laughs> I don't know how famous it is, but the Lumbergo. All right, well, thanks to Soz and Gross for sponsoring our segment, How Well Do You Know? Today, we're excited to welcome wrestlers Vita Bakel and Satira Sohal to the program. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure. So I hear you guys may have like looked into some of the questions ahead of time, kind of cheated <laughs> on this. Is that true? We're just thinking ahead. Coach. It was, yeah. Just... Prior preparation prevents poor performance. The five Ps. Yes, sir. Yeah. Five. Count them out, right? <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's jump into some stuff here. Uh, as a... Not just hearing that you guys cheated on the questions, but I hear some funny stuff about it as well. I hear you guys have some t-shirts that you guys wear with like others' faces on it and things like that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I got a gift from Miss Vita Beckel before she went to state, and I got a I Heart My Honey Boo Boo, because I call her Honey Boo Boo sometimes. <laughs> and I wore that to state, so we have that. Nice. Um, yeah, she's the only one with the... With the... Oh, the oh Coach, Coach Norris. I gave Coach Norris and Coach Mata a shirt. That says, I hurt my 160 pounder. So, Coach Mata wears it to practice. Coach Nor- Norris wears it to practice too sometimes. Um, Coach Norris and I, we had a deal. If I did a certain move, we would go to Sizzler. So, he wore it to Sizzler. 
Going Sizzler. Going <laughs> Sizzler. We go. Uh, <laughs> old school movie. Uh, nicknames. Do you have any nicknames as well? What, what is this about squirrels and such? Our, our coach Norris, he calls us all squirrels ever since like forever, since freshman year. I think it's because we're um, we run around a lot and we're just everywhere. Very antsy. Just because yeah. you run around a lot. We run around yeah. a lot. We don't. Sometimes we don't pay attention a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a little attention span thing. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little yeah. more into it. Squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit squirrely as well, maybe. Right. All right. Serious question. Uh, you guys have been busy uh, girls wrestling in individual tournaments. Uh, how's it been up to this point? And is there any tournament that you guys are looking forward to? Uh, that you really want to win, uh, and are you guys ready to start league? Um, I'm as of now, I'm ready to start league, but I feel like I could still progress and have a lot of things to work on. The tournament I'm looking forward to a lot has to be the San Dimas tournament as well as the Dick Morris and Upland tournament. For the San for the San Dimas and Dick Morris tournament, I want to go there. Um, I have some girls I really want to wrestle. Due to the fact because I've wrestled them and I beat them before but it's, they're higher than me. And some people just don't believe that I could do it again. They thought it was a one and done deal. So I want to prove them wrong. Upland, I want to wrestle uh, the, one of the girls from San Fernando. She's really good. Um, she plays at Fargo, got fifth, I believe. All American, great experience if I was able to wrestle her. How the tournaments have been great a lot, especially because we have a lot of new freshmen and like new wrestlers. So it's a great opportunity for everyone to get mad time and a lot more experience. <clears throat> I'm excited to wrestle, hopefully Blackwater, Blackwater, because I haven't been able to wrestle since the first tournament at Kappa since I tweaked my knee. But I really, really want to wrestle this girl from Laguna Hills. She's ranked third at 101s, but she went up to 106, which is the weight class I'm wrestling. So I really just want to wrestle her. Now you're coming off a, a little <laughs> bit of an injury, right? Yeah. So how's it going? Rehab, you feel like you're 100% close? Not yet. So I came off freshman year, I came back from torn ligaments, so I had to heal from that. That's completely healed. Then I had shoulder surgery sophomore year, and that took like a year to heal. And then as soon as I came back junior year, I tore my ACL, so I had to get surgery for that. So I'm finally trying to rehab. Mm -hmm. I was good up until the tournament where like I landed weird and my knee like tweaked a little. But I feel like I'm like breaking back. I'm at like 60% now. I should be good in a couple weeks. So we'll see that. You're 100%? Everything's good? Yes, sir. All right, good. Well, hey, girls wrestling is getting a lot bigger, right? Much more popular um, around high schools now. The sport is really growing. What got you guys into it? And what would you tell other girls who might be interested in starting the sport? Um, I got into girls wrestling. Funny thing was it just showed up on my schedule. <laughs> uh, so I was Probably like, Probably um, a Coach Lumberg deal or something. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, um, I don't really want to do this. But then I was like, Coach Lumberg, he said, uh, just try it out one day, see how you feel. Tried it out. I walked in the room. The environment was amazing. Coaches were welcoming. The girls were welcoming. I knew um, I knew Satira because we had a class uh, in middle school together. And then I was like, I like it. I'll stay, Coach. And then that's how I got into wrestling. And then summer sophomore year, I sort of fell in love with it. So I started working harder to become better instead of, you know, just showing up to practice with tournaments, doing stuff outside of school. No prior experience in no. wrestling for either one of you guys? Uh, I had prior experience. I started wrestling 2012 because my dad started me, but it was kind of on and off and I didn't really like it until I came in freshman year. I still didn't really like it, but after I went to like state and stuff, I started realizing I appreciated it more after I couldn't wrestle. So then I started falling in love with the sport and came back. Now I can't stop. Yeah, so there might be girls out there who are interested, they're nervous about mm -hmm. it, don't know what to expect. What would you tell those girls about starting that sport? Just to jump in, I don't think, it's like any sport, can't really expect of what's gonna happen. I think it's a really good experience, especially because when I started when I was younger, there was like no girls to wrestle, so I had to wrestle all guys. Coming into high school with like girls to actually wrestle is a great experience, and it's a great way to learn how to defend yourself, especially with everything going on. Like it's just one extra thing that you have to learn, and also to bond with everyone because you meet girls that you never would, that you never thought you would meet, because it's girls from like that came in from volleyball, someone came in from water polo. It's everywhere. They just come in, and you meet everyone. So you guys have both been pretty successful in high school. Um, you wrestled before high school, and you started when you got to high school. Yeah. 
Um, and you've kind of answered this question already, but uh, what makes the wrestling the perfect sport for a girl um, to get involved in in high school? I'd say, like Satira said earlier, defense, because um, everything that's happening, uh, defending yourself, learning how to defend, as well as the girls. Um, you never think you'd meet all these people and you never thought you'd be friends with them, but then you walk in the room, it's a whole nother environment. Same thing with the guys. Um, if you walk into like the guys' practice, you never thought you'd be friends with some of them, but then, you know, it's like a big, it's a big family. Yeah. It's also great because it's an individual sport where you can be very competitive. So that's also an exciting aspect of it. That's why I really like it personally. Do you have to be super competitive to be successful? You don't necessarily like. Before uh, freshman year, I wasn't that competitive, but I was still pretty successful. It's honestly just putting in the time to be successful. And what, what do you think is the hardest thing about wrestling um, that you guys have found? Putting in time, because sometimes you don't really want to go to practice. There's days where you just want to lay in bed, watch TV, but it's just getting up and going to practice is probably and pushing through practice because sometimes there's tough days where you don't really want to wrestle but it's, then you remind yourself I'm here for a reason and I like the sport and I just want to do it. Like Vita said it's going into those practices that you don't even want to be there practicing through it all but also a big thing is when you're going in to wrestle it's hard because it's only you on the mat so when you're pushing through that, you have to break through that mental block. Because sometimes you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I can't get this technique. Once you push through that, you can go with flying colors. It's just pushing through that point. What's the what's the most difficult thing of wrestling? Is it learning the technique and the maneuvers? Or is it the conditioning? Uh, is it practicing when you don't want to practice? Uh, what's What's been the most difficult thing and the most rewarding thing? Uh, the most difficult thing probably has to be the mental state, like Satira said, thinking you're not good enough. Sometimes there's people out there who talk down on you and think they're better than you, and they say things, and it, sometimes it just gets to you, the point where you're on the menu like, oh, I'm not good enough. But, and then, <sighs> that's about it. It's definitely pushing through, because especially in women's wrestling, like, there's still people who think that girls shouldn't wrestle, so it's hard because they try to degrade you and stuff, but once you push through that, that's honestly the best feeling, like proving everyone wrong when you can get that. And for me personally, it's just staying healthy because I tend to get hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys use those negative things kind of as motivation when you get on the mat, right? Yes. Like yeah. back of your head, like I'm going to show this person, I'm going to show this, like use that to kind of push you. Yeah, Yeah, because especially like sometimes people are like, oh, you only made it to girl state and stuff. And it kind of gets to your head because you know, like it's still a growing sport, so it's still new. So when you have more experience, you can get through a little faster, but you still have, like, you put in all that work. They try to take that away, and you have to realize that once you put in all that work, like, you earned that. You didn't just get it. So I saw a whole list of moves that you guys have in wrestling in the wrestling room. That's a long list. Do you guys know every single one of those things, and are we still learning them? Have you mastered all of them? Still learning them. Never master any move. That's, yeah. You have to have thousands of repetitions to master a move. That's... <laughs> is, is the first move you learned the Lumbergo, or is that like later on when you later get, on later on, <laughs> a little more advanced? I didn't yeah. learn it till last year. Yeah. I'm okay. still learning it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those uh, those things you guys think about with wrestling, it's it's got the team component, the individual mm -hmm. component, both. What goals have you set for yourself for this season? Um, some goals I've set for myself is definitely placing. Uh, top three at CIF and moving on to Masters. I do want to um, win Masters. Last year, I was I was ranked, and then I I cracked. I wasn't prepared mentally, so I went in there thinking I was going to lose. So I lost my quarterfinals match, and the girl who won Masters, I beat her at a tournament two weeks prior before. So I definitely want to go back, win Masters, um, prove to myself that I am worthy enough. I want to place at State. Place at State mean a lot. Um, place at State probably any placing. I would be more than proud of myself with. For me, I just really want to stay healthy enough to be able to wrestle in like CIF and stuff. But I definitely, I really want to make it to State again because I don't think I appreciated it as much as I should have freshman year because it was just another tournament to me. But now that I understand 
how like important that tournament is, I really want to go in and with the intent to win. Because uh, freshman year, I didn't really go to win. I just kind of went to be there. But this year, I, I really want to place. That would be such an honor to place. Have your experience, um, different, different successes last year, freshman year, injuries. Um, how did you guys prepare for this season? And is there anything you've done differently throughout the years uh, preparing for your, for your seasons? I definitely trained a little bit more on my shoulders than I have any other year. I focus on them over the summer to prepare them, um, as well as going to practices. I practice with people who are better than me, um, always, always people who are better than me. Shout out to all my partners. Um, <laughs> at State, I, I got a chance to work with a girl who won 170 pound uh, state championships for uh, Vera Mace, uh, Muretta. Okay. Um, I worked with her as well as I talked with coaches about my men, my mental state and how I could improve it and as well as my teammates. I've talked with Satira multiple times about how I ask her how I think how she thinks I can improve my wrestling and how I can do that in other practices. We've definitely done that back and forth like because I drive her home like every single day so like through the car rides like we talk about like how practice went like how we can improve how we can make each other better and stuff. But definitely preparing was hard because mentally I was very frustrated because I just came off of a surgery and I had another surgery. And this one was different from my shoulder because I couldn't like walk or do anything for like several months. So I worked a lot on upper body doing like 200 push-ups a day. Once I was able to move my legs, start doing air squats, worked up from just doing 10 to doing 200 a day, going to rehab consistently. Even though I couldn't be on the mat, I'd sit on at practices so I can like see all the moves and everything that they were doing. And then once I was able to practice, like I took it easy this time because before I tried to rush right back into it. But since it was a leg injury, it's a lot more tender because in wrestling you're on your feet a lot and you have to do like certain moves. So I definitely did like um, moves where I had to bounce on just one leg, even like when it hurt like a little, I had to lay off. I had to be patient. Then when I was able to finally come back, like I was able to go to club again, work with the partners that I used to. And coming back, they're all better than me. So it's very frustrating, but also exciting because now I have people who can push me even more than before. So that's how I prepared. Very nice. Well, I know you guys already have an idea of some of the rapid fire questions. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go off the cuff here with things that you haven't yeah. think of. You know the drill, though. Don't overthink them, things like that. So I know you look back before and you liked the two word question, but I'm not going to give you that exact once. So we're going to switch it a little bit. Give me two words that describe. Vita, and then two words that describe Satira. You Very hardworking and determined. Two, two words. Oh. Very hard work. Wait, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not just syllables, but word. Two words. Hardworking. Can I can I do another one? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hardworking's hyphen. Yeah. Okay. Hyphen. Yeah. We'll count um, it. Persistent. Good. Determined. Courageous. Very nice. Pretty high praise from both of you guys. <laughs> Your favorite TV show that you're watching. Oh, wait, I didn't have an answer for that. Yeah, wait, you know, Hawaii Five O. And of course, the follow up was the original or the new one? Both, but I do prefer the new one. Right now, I've been watching New Girl. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Coach Russell watches that one. All the time. All the time. What about your favorite movie? Oh, Braveheart. It's hard. Depends how I'm feeling. It's either... I'm um, feeling happy. I'm <laughs> feeling happy. Um, maybe The Goonies. Goonies. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. What about like holiday movies? Do you guys are in the holiday movies? What's your favorite holiday movie? And we're in the holiday season now. Okay, I hate The Polar Express, oh, but... Yeah, that's like the... I, I really like mm -hmm. like the animated Grinch because it's funny to me. <laughs> okay. um, the Grinch or When Garden Got Run Over by Reindeer. All right, all right. Well, it seems like you know some older movies and newer movies. Have you ever seen Die Hard? You ever heard of that movie? Yeah. yeah. You've seen it? Is it a Christmas movie? I've heard of it. I've heard I of it. We seen haven't it. seen it. haven't seen it. So you're but not I'm sure going to so go with, yes. They've at least heard and of it. Yeah. Right, right. It's held in the Christmas season. Big controversy. So, yeah, the older people will know it. Uh, all right. Favorite song gets you hyped up before a match? Um, greatest by Eminem. I listen to it every single time before each match. Uh, Monster by Kanye West and Nikki, but it has to be Nikki's part. All right, most memorable match that you've had at Cypress? 
Um, it has to be the last match I wrestled at Capo. It was semis, and I hurt my knee the first 30 seconds, so I had to wrestle the rest of the five, five and a half minutes on one leg. And that's when I had a breakthrough of wrestling instinctively instead of having to think. And I won that match, so it was very exciting. Mm, it was nice. 12 to 7. That nice. was my most memorable. Um, my most memorable match has to be first match at state against the girl who won it all. Uh, number one seed. It was very memorable. It was, um, it helped me think. It helped me realize, oh, she's better than me, this aspect over here and there. It helped me realize where I need to improve more and how much I need to improve where she was where she was and where I was. Weigh-ins are always a big thing, right? You're always gonna be at that weight. You make the weight, boom, what's the first food you're eating after you make weight? Oh, an orange. Just an <laughs> orange? Well, I can't upset my stomach because I cut a yeah. lot. Oh, mm. honeydew. All right. Uh, favorite wrestling move? Oh. I don't have one. I kind of just make a lot of moves my own, so. Like from any position or? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just your favorite oh, one. Oh, okay. I like doing stacks. Like, you get the wing, you get the wrist, and then you bump her over. Okay. I didn't know. Nothing really. She's really good at doubles. <laughs> She's a master at that. All right, all right. Finish this sentence. I love wrestling because... The team. Coach Lumber. All right, Coach good Lumber. high praise from the team yeah. and Coach Lumber. Well, the team includes the coaches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good call. All the coaches. Good call. All the coaches. All right, well, thanks to wrestlers Vita Bakel and Satira Sohal for being here today. Thanks again to our sponsors, Subs and Grubs, and Coach's Corner for supporting the show. Get over to Subs and Grubs for lunch, Coach's Corner before and after the games to celebrate our teams. Thanks again for watching. We got a lot of sports going on in the winter. We will see you again next week, and we'll see you out on the fields, on the courts, in the gyms. We'll see you out at those games. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>